in this video we will try to demonstrate what is the difference between this string and this string in other words what is the difference between uh, the string which has capital s and what is the difference between the string which uh, is a small s so uh, first thing if i go and do something like this if i say str1 is equal to uh, dot net right and if i say uh, string str2 is equal to dot net and if i go and run this program right both of these guys operate exactly similar so if i go and uh, just go and run this program here so that a program is running so if you see now in str1 we are storing dot net and also in str2 it stores dot net so in other words uh, when it comes to functionality both of them are absolutely similar in other words this small string with a with a small s is a alias for the big string alias means the same thing is called with different names right so the question here is you know if both of those guys are doing the same thing then why do we have uh, a capital string and a small string now when we talk about dot net right there are two things one is the framework and the other one is a language so in other words you know you have the dot net framework and then you have languages like c sharp uh, visual foxpro.net vp.net etc this capital string you know is the data type of the dot net framework and the small string is the data type of the c sharp language so in other words this capital string actually is nothing but it is system dot string of dot net data type while the small string is the c sharp data type so for that reason we have a capital string and we have a small string so now the question is as a c sharp developer should i use the capital string or should i use the small string so the first advice would be to avoid confusion you can use one of them consistently so in other words either use the small string consistently or either use the capital string consistently but from best practice perspective what you can do is if you are doing variable declaration in other words if you are using that string as a variable then use the small string but if you are using the the string as a class for example you are calling some method like concat or uppercase right then you can use the capital string so you can see over here in this code uh, at the right hand side you know because i'm calling the concat method i have kept the capital string and because you know the whatever data comes from this concat method it will get stored here as a variable you know at the left hand side i have used the small string so this str1 i have declared by using the small string but whenever i'm making a method call right i'm using the capital string so i hope that you have enjoyed this video in this video we talked about you know why there are two strings that is capital string and small string and uh, from the best practice perspective you know uh, how we can avoid the confusion thank you so much